Hello and welcome to episode 22 of Let's Play GTA San Andreas. Let's just get started, I guess, with Caesar again. Hey man, where you been? I tricked one of the cars on a shopping list. But the crazy bitch, she drives like the devil. I've been following her for hours, but she stopped for nothing. You'd have to ram her off the road in order to get a chance to get her car, and you know a wrecked car is no good to us. I swear she's playing with me. Dude, calm down. If she playing with you, then she probably won't get one time involved until it turn ugly. We gotta find a way to stop her or slow her down. Too bad we can't involve the police. Cause then we could pop her crazy bitch tires and bang her crazy bitch ass in jail for being a danger to my sanity. You know what? I think I got an idea. So, uh, Caesar told us that uh, right car isn't good for us. Uh, while well, I brought an almost wrecked car in the last mission, I think. And uh, I can show you a picture of that if you didn't watch the last episode or just don't remember. But, yes, so... It's, uh, it was pretty... it was in a pretty bad shape. So, I, I would call... I would gladly like to call out bullshit on that statement. And, as we all know, if we take the car to spray, pay and spray, it will be magically healed of everything and we just just great fantastic it was it will be like it was never broken hi ah oh, you crazy crazy bitch okay which way are you going no not that way of course not where are you going w what is this where are you going? Thank you. Fucking... Jesus Christ. Where did you learn to drive? Why is your door open? Okay. Why is ev does every mission have a fucking... Oops, sorry. Don't fall in anywhere, please. Yes. Okay. Hey, CJ, how's it going with that crazy bitch, eh? Popped her, just about to fix the tire. Should be back any minute. Okay, careful with that function repair shit. It's nasty stuff. Will do. Later, man. Okay. Man, stuff disgusting. Oh, shit. <laughs> All over my clothes. Oh, yeah. Your clothes look fine, CJ. What the fuck? I think this might be a special car. I'm not sure. The wheels might be uh, puncture proof. And I could uh, save it in my garage and restart the mission to get this car. But I do not want to. Because I do not care for it now. Right, car in great condition, I would say. And it will be just fine, I guess. Right, see, I mean, uh, Caesar. Oh, I acquired Wang cars. 80,000, 8, I mean. Why did I say it? I don't know. I'm not good at math. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save and do another mission. Did you see that? There was no police there! Until I turned my head toward him. And now there's a policeman while I tried to get in the car. And now he's gonna be pissed. What a fucking big surprise. God. Damn you, gang! Why, of all of the places, did you choose to put a policeman next to my house, my garage, or whatever? The place where I will take the cars 
where it's the most convenient for me to take a car from the street to steal it because I'm not gonna use my own cars why why the hell would I okay one mission down so well, I guess there's nothing more to do except for the question mark which is in Las Venturas I think or maybe I'll get a phone call now nope no phone call let's just look at the map yes it's sort of Las Venturas well it's basically the third island if I could say that so the route now to Las Venturas is open I can cross the bridge as you can see there are no no barricades or anything like that I'm not sure about the last venture is the city is sold, but I think it's open now too. Should be at least. Well anyways, let's just get there and we'll see. Alright, I'm here. Where the question mark is. And I can actually save it here, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. How nice of them to let me save here. If I fail I don't have to try again. I mean I don't have to travel all the way. Carl, darling, welcome. So fucking welcome, man. What you know about my family? Now first we need to see what you're made of. What it look like I'm made of? Putin? No, anger <laughs> and hate. And that's what I like about you. Hey, there's a truck in the garage. I say we take it for a spin. Here's the deal. This is all about speed and commitment. You got GPS in the cab. Get to each set of the map coordinates as quick as you can. Make it to all the coordinates, then get the truck back here, lose the truck, and you fail. First, what's the GPS? Second, fail what? And third, who the fuck are you? Sorry. Need to know basis only. Oh, one more thing. This baby's got four-wheel steering instead of a handbrake. Good luck. Thank you. Better than 6.30 I need to achieve time, so... I would say... That's not a fucking problem. Cause I'm a master of monster truck. Sort of. Yeah, I guess I'm not bad. Uh, I sure know how to handle it though. Okay. No music please, I can entertain you myself because I do that. No, I don't actually, sorry. Uh, but I can talk something irrelevant to what I'm doing. Uh, as in, hey guys, did you see that news thing last week? Oh man, it was so great, right? And so horrible at the same time, I mean, what a tragedy. Who could have expected that? I don't know. But, uh, back to race, I guess, because I've run out of things to talk about. Unless I make more stuff up, in which case you won't be entertained, I think, because I can't think of anything. But here we are, driving and driving. I still have uh, five minutes and... 10 seconds now uh, to finish the race well at least that time I need I need to achieve that time or faster than that time uh, to complete the missions the mission I mean uh, so I'm pretty sure I can do that oh no I messed up no not to worry, got here anyway. The four wheel drive is awesome by the way. Let me show it off to you in uh, a corner right now for example. See? It's like drifting. Except nothing like that, almost. It makes you go sideways though, so that's like drifting I guess. Uh, tree, probably don't want to go into that. I wonder if I have a uh, nitro. It appears I don't. And yes, let's go up the hill where I'm supposed. To. There's a plane there that just disappeared in front of my eyes. 
but uh, I guess that's to blame the draw distance or maybe not maybe it just destroyed the vehicle altogether maybe that's to blame the draw distance for I don't know I know nothing about this game except a lot of things but not the technical things which might surprise you or not I don't know what surprises you I'm just talking bullshit I still have to go for another eight checkpoints and I have three minutes and 20 seconds left now you see how I'm trying to get my uh, that word in exactly that second I hope that helps so I'm very precise thankfully I don't need to be a millisecond precise or else that would be horrible and impossible for me to speak at that speed but um, I don't know where that butt is going so I'll just say something different I guess we're almost there as I have only three checkpoints left and uh, there are three nice looking checkpoints I mean they're, they're not easy but they're not that really hard I don't know it's finally finished so I have can stop talking well as hey, you can see I'm the best boss was right about you the boss will be in touch no problems I was 18 seconds ahead of the first time second time I mean this first was mine and that would be impossible but yeah I'm the first at monster trucking what a surprise and there's a monster truck here now and I have a phone call all right who the fuck is this son get back to the ranch and I'll explain everything and I mean everything can't you just tell me now I guess not I'm already at the ranch what do you want from me anyways best two missions by the way so Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play GTA San Andreas. I'm as always Herbis and I hope to see you next time. Oh, how I hope. Bye.